So here we are back at the house after our long journey of driving around hitting antique stores and flea markets. Wow, what a long drive. Uh, Newport News to Williamsburg, Williamsburg to Lightfoot, Lightfoot back home. That's a pretty good drive in a vehicle that only gets about 11 miles in a gallon. Let's take a look at the two things we got. Now really all I've got right here is the reels. I took them off the rods because uh, the one rod I'm probably going to use, the other one I'm probably not. It's just how it goes. The uh, antique rods, just not my thing. They have a tendency to be, oh, how do I put this politely? Or how do I say this nice? Crap is what they, a lot of them tend to be. So I don't use them very often because uh, I do find some occasionally. I would say uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, somewhere in the 2 range, I usually get a rod that's okay that I can use. Today we got one that we can actually use. Um, it's kind of neat because it is a Shakespeare rod, and uh, you know we've got plenty of Shakespearean reels. Shake I don't think that's quite right, is it? Shakespearean reels? Anyway, I guess you can say that. Why not? But we got plenty of Shakespeare reels around here, and something might fit it. So we're going to give it a try. The other one, no, not seeing it happen. Probably end up at another antique store somewhere. Anyway, let's take a look at these reels. We're going to look at the one that's, that's fairly typical at first, is your typical Garcia Mitchell 308. Now this is the 308, not the 308A, just the 308. 308 is just a little fella. This is seems to actually be working quite well. I'm really su pleasantly surprised at how it is functioning. Still got a lot of line on it I got to take off. Um, but this ought to be nothing to take apart, put back together, and put on a rod and use. Now, I already have one 308 over there, but it's a 308A, meaning it's the generation after this guy. So, yeah, it's basically the same identical thing. But we're still going to clean this guy up, and we're still going to keep him and use him. And uh, who knows? It might be a, a 308 fit. 308 fish caught with the Mitchell 308, or 308s. We might add a DA in there. Who knows what we might do, but this one, very little grind in there. And I think once uh, once I get some oil and grease in this thing and clean it all up, that might be gone. You never know. Get this, whatever this junk is that they have on there that's been on there since probably about 1971. Anyway, let's take a look at this other one. This is the one that I haven't looked it up yet. I... I've never heard of it. I can already see where I'm going to have an issue uh, getting one of the screws out because someone's been in it before. This is a Luxor. Now, for those of you who know what a Luxor is, congratulations. I don't. Made in France. Fancy looking thing. It's got the, uh, just like the record head, you can loosen the crank handle there and flip it inward. I... I guess that's for packing purposes or something. I, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Now this one, it's got some good stuff about it. Some things like uh, like a little grease screw. Let me duck back here. A little grease screw back here. You can take that out and not grease, but oil the shaft in there. And um, the bale seems to function perfectly fine. Flips really easily actually. And you can flip this one by hand like you do a modern day spinning reel. But it seems to work. The only thing I don't like is they decided for whatever reason to avoid screws and put rivets on this little cover right here. But if I can get this thing apart, uh, one of the screws, this one, is almost gone. Um, I'm going to try to scrape a little more of a, a groove in there so we can get that screw out. Hopefully. Um, hopefully they'll all come out. But this is a Luxor, made in France, Pizan Michel, Michel, Miguel. I don't know what that is. We're going to have to do some homework here, because my English is bad enough. Trying to speak somebody else's language makes me three times as bad. But it says on top, what does that say? Desirage, and then it says Sirage. I don't know what that means. But I know it's made in France, and it's really cool looking, and we're going to get this thing taken apart and get it cleaned up, and then we're going to do that, like, right this very moment. But first got to see if I can get that screw, that one screw, if I can get a, a groove cut in it where I can make a screwdriver work in it. The screws are brass, 
And it goes back to that old two dissimilar metals being screwed together like that. They have a tendency to uh, not get along very well. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this thing apart and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright, so I've kind of got it a little bit apart. Um, trying to figure out how it comes apart is... I got that one screw undone and you can see it, it's... Let me try to get it around here. It's pretty nasty inside. I'm assuming that it's... Looking at that. She's pretty nasty. But it was working. I mean, it was doing what it was supposed to do. It was just doing it in a very nasty kind of ugly way. Now, the biggest problem I'm having is trying to figure out how to get the top half of this reel apart. I don't understand how that comes apart. Anyway, I'm going to scrape all this grease out of here. out how that works okay let you look in there hopefully it's focusing on that the bale uh, if you can see there's where it hits and then flips that bale up pretty intriguing There you go. That is the cleaned up version. Uh, I did find out that the paint is very thin and just the toothbrush uh, was basically taking the paint off. You can see where I was trying to get the grease out from around the button there and just the toothbrush was basically taking that paint right off. So anyway, we're going to do the put back together scenario now. It moves freely, somewhat, uh, freely enough anyway. And we're going to put it back together and see how it functions because everything else seems to be doing okay. I got it as clean as I could. I was really scared to take this part off because I didn't understand it. And I really didn't want to mess it up because it looks like there's a sp the spring goes around that then it tightens. So it tightens that spring a lot like this is for now this is for the anti-reverse. It's very, very similar to the re record or record or however you want to say it. But anyway, let me dry this thing out and uh, just give you show you here. It's got all the grease out of it. Now the spool, the aluminum spool cleaned up really nice. Cleaned up really nice. Shaft cleaned up real well. So all of this stuff should move a lot better than it did. Hopefully. Even the crank. Uh, here's another one of these. I don't, maybe y'all know, but the record has the same thing. Uh, and I don't understand what that's for unless it's just for carrying purposes or something. I'm not really sure what that's all about. You can see there's been a lot of years of use but yet the gear is not really worn. So, I don't know, maybe just bad grease. <laughs> Wearing grooves in the shaft there. Anyway, we're gonna put it back together. I'll give you the uh, shorted version of that because it's not really a lot to it. And uh, be back in a minute. Whew. So, it is now Quarter to ten at night. We started this whole ball rolling today at some point around noon, one o'clock. And we've done everything from go through older Zebco reels and their evolution, I guess you'd say. We've gone shopping, driving, you name it, we have went. I got a new watch band. Battery in my watch. Man, it, it has been quite the, uh, you know, a lot taken care of today. 
And on top of everything else, I got this little coffee grinder back to working again. It works quite well. You have your anti-reverse button. You can see there. Then you flip it back up. Drag works. And it's really quite cool looking. Now we're going to do some more homework on this thing. Luxor. Pizan and Mikael. Made in France. But I do know that this works now. And we're going to put this thing. We're going to put it on a rod. And at some point it's going to get used. When, you know, Mother Nature finally decides that, eh, cold is not fun. Because <sighs> it's not. And I mean today it was not. 19 mile an hour wind gusts and cold weather and wind chills and burr. It was terrible. Well, the next thing is going to be tearing into this little guy. The Garcia Mitchell 308. Which seems to work really well. And hopefully when I get done taking it apart and putting it back together, it'll work just as well, if not better. Wouldn't be the first one I ever put together that worked worse. But you know, that's how we learn these things. That's how we figure things out. So, with all that we've done today, I truly appreciate y'all watching. And we're going to get some of these things working and on a rod. And as soon as we get some good weather, we're going fishing. And we're going to try them out, see how they work. Because that's what it's all about. If you're going to rescue them, you got to see if they work. It's that simple. Nothing technical about that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this kind of a... Uh, conglomeration of fishing today other than not fishing anyway thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time what a mess what a mess